Okay, guys, we are back in. So we're still in the training deadline, and uh, as I, I actually screwed up one of my phones again, so we really only have two phones left to uh, try to make a trade. But uh, LA's calling us right now, so let's see what the Kings have uh, are trying to do for us. So they want to give us uh, Andre Lok. Oh God, Lok Lokshinov, Lok Lokshinov, I guess, for Zach Ronaldo. So let me take a look at Lokshinov. Some of his three stars, third line scoring forward, and Ronaldo. Ronaldo has great potential, though. He's three stars, fourth line grinder. I'm going to say no to this as well. So I'm going to say no to this trade. And I do want to propose a trade. See if we can get somebody. Okay, so we need to sell. Jody Shelley. And... Sort by age. Actually, no, let me go. Look at all these guys we have in the juniors, man. So many of them. Um, want to trade for the tanko. Okay. So, let's just take a look at each of these teams individually, see what they have going for them. Boston. I know you guys. Okay, they're valuing their first round pick really well. Malcolm Subban, Tim Thomas, Turco. Oh, those are goalies willing to give away. They only have one good prospect, and he has way too much for us. We're not going to do that. Buffalo. We were already here. We're trying to get Grigorenko. But his trade value is just not enough. Actually, let me put him on the table for a minute. Grigorenko. That would go through. Oh, we already tried that before, and it didn't go through. Okay. Calgary wants Fedotenko. They're willing to give away. Uh, again, like, yeah, we can't take one his salary. Carolina, no, they're not willing to give away anybody. Chicago. Mm, Shaw. Let's take a look at these potentials, see which guys. Uh, they're all three and they have stars, so that's good. Okay, who we got? Meyer checking. Uh, left wing, they're all forwards. They are all forward, so we could pick the guy we want the best. Uh, we either go for Hayes, Sade, Shaw. I think we could get somebody from Chicago, at least one of these guys. Let me take a look at Morin. Jeremy Morin. He's a sniper. We definitely need some snipers in this thing. So you know what? I'm going to go for Jeremy Morin. Okay. We're going to go for Jeremy Morin. You know what? Chicago is willing to give away their first round pick, too. Uh, that would put them under the trade cap. Yeah, that's fine. Just give me your suckiest player, Sean O'Donnell. I need to take two of them back. Actually, no, I need to take I need to take two of their players that they are willing to give away. That are sucky. So, Olsen... You could come, and Aldon, you could come, and I'm pretty sure they would be pissed at that. So I could give them Bruno Gervais, I could always find another defenseman, but then I'm going to have to add another one. Add this Lavin guy. So I could get Chicago's first round pick uh, for Shelly and Fedotenko, I'd be happy with that. Let me see if I doubt this will go through. So I'll have to lose another phone. But let's see if it does. No. Up to snuff. Okay, so we might lose out on this, guys. Um, I really want to trade these guys away, but we might just have to wait till the off season to trade them away. We do have one hour left. Okay, so let me throw these guys on the table. Chicago can't take the players, really. So... Shelly and Fantango Edmonton. Are you guys willing to give away? Smith. Who's this house guy? Not oh, Tanner House one, didn't I? Know that. Uh Florida. You're not willing to give away any of your draft picks. Theodore Clemenson, Cuba, no. 
Let's go back to Minnesota, man. They are willing to give away some guys. They are willing to give away uh, Michael Granlin to us. But, um... I could try to get this Boomer Phillips. I might want to get this guy. Balmer. Brett Balmer. Then they'd be under the salary cap, so... Give me uh, Kuma back. And I'm going to throw in some draft picks for you guys. They don't want any of our draft picks, though. So how are we looking for draft picks for 14? We're not looking so good for draft picks for 14. We do have a lot for 13. So let me see if I could take some away for 15. I'll give them a 7th round pick for 15. And a... Actually, no, that's a little bit... And a sixth and a fifth for 15. Let's see if this goes through. I doubt it. But what did I give them? Oh, 14, 6. No, 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 no. 15, 6. And a 15 and a fifth. Let's see if that goes through. I'll be happy with that if it goes through. No. Okay. So it looks like we're going to have to end up keeping these those two guys. I have to make a trade in the off season for them. I don't want them on my team, but like I said, I'm just gonna hang up. I'll just shut down the phones. And so we didn't make any trades in the season, so in the off season we I failed ultimately, as you guys can tell I'm not the best person when it comes to making trades, so I would definitely want to take a look at our standings. Okay, so we're in we have seventy points right now. Uh on we're on the outside looking in. So we definitely need to have one hell of a march and in April if we want to hopefully make our way into these playoffs. I think we're a playoff team, but uh, then again, I don't know. So let's take a look at these goals. No. Uh, assists. Nope. Uh, yeah, points. Anybody up there for points? Nope. Wins. Briz is up there, but yeah, I expected that. Save percentage. Nope. Goals against. Nope. Okay, so let's take a look at these player stats. Player stats, team stats. See how we're looking. Okay, if we go to goals, four per game. It's going up. It's still going up. It's 2.63. I think it's been going up gradually, but we're still like not scoring go enough goals. Uh, but then again, we're near the end of the season. So goals against. Goals against Wentz down a little bit so we let in a little bit more goals this year so we might adjust that a little bit because we need to adjust this power play power play is we're up there 16.9 should be up there near 20 around something but we're 14th and penalty kill we fell back down again okay so we need to edit the penalty kill and the power play one more time Look at the player stats for you guys. So it comes up. Okay, forwards. So Giroux's still hanging around 60. He's trying to get that point a game player. Point a, point a game uh, with him. Uh, Danny Breer, 44. Hartnell. Hartnell went up 40. Voracek is 36. Matt Reed, 32. Simmons, 28. Korpakoski, 27. Uh, Fedotenko, Talbot, Ronaldo, Coots, and Shelley. Take a look at the defensemen. Kabina, Kabina, Mazaros, and Team all have 30. 30s. They might probably get to 40 point guys, so that'll be an alright season for them. And then goalies. Leighton's still starting games because coach keeps pull, pulling Briz for letting in some goals past. But uh, what was his uh, goals against average? Yeah, 2.48. Needs to come down. Save percentage 91.9. And where's the shutouts at? Eight shutouts. He had all his shutouts at the beginning of the season. And but uh don't excuse me. So we need to edit these lines. Mm, coaching options, edit the lines. So just the power play and the penalty kill. Okay, so power play. Drew Briere and Vorchek. Ever since we put Korpakoski we put Korpakoski in there, the power play went down. So you know what? I'm gonna go back to the original. 
throw Shen in there. Maybe Matt Reed is a reason that it's going down too. So you know what? I'm gonna throw in who was on their team and then Mazaros. I'm gonna throw Mazaros back in there. Word check, yep. I'm gonna throw Shen in there. Yep. Uh da da da. Coots, yep. Penalty kill. <clears throat> I'm gonna throw Korpikoski in the penalty kill. Because I think his was better than Shen. I want to make a playoff push for these guys, so I'm going to actually just keep throwing all these things in there. Make a push for it. I'm actually going to move Korpikoski up. Because I think this is better than Talbots. Talbots is 84, 84, 85. 84, 85, 85. Yep. Give it to Korpikoski. <clears throat> uh, Hartnell. Yep. Talbot. And what was Hartnell's? Yeah. Leave Hartnell. No, Hartnell should be playing the first line instead of Talbot. Um, four and four. Yep, yep. Four-man power play. I think that's a reason why this power play isn't working out so well. So four-man power play. I want to take Couturier off this power play, and I'm gonna put in uh, Voracek with Simmons. Maybe that was one reason why the four-man power play wasn't doing so good because I had uh. Couturier in there, and he wasn't really doing anything. So, four on four, Talbot, I'm going to put in Korpakoski. How's his face-offs? Face-offs are 80, too. He should be taking the face-offs. Yeah, okay. And that's fine. And then, I also, that's it. Okay. So this is it, guys. This is the last uh, push. I do have a little bit of time here. I'm going to do up to a month after this Boston game, see where we are in the East, and then we'll see where it goes. So this is pretty much it. This is across your fingers and see if we can go on a good winning streak here and make these playoffs. Hopefully those line changes will do it for us, because if not, then we'll be on a rebuilding stage. We'll have to get rid of some of the older guys, give the younger guys a shot to play, and uh, we'll have to do a little, even a little mini rebuild even though most of the guys are young, but uh, Danny Briere probably might get traded in the off season. Um, and other than that, but we are getting some wins here. Keep it going, guys. Try to make these playoffs. Okay, there's a loss. Might have been an overtime loss. I don't know. I couldn't remember. Uh, duh, 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 duh. Got a lot of games here against the East. Okay, I'm losing games now. Okay. As long as we beat, as long as we beat these teams that are in contention, that's all I care about, and beat the teams that are suppo we're supposed to beat. Okay, Carolina, they're looking like a good team this year, good playoff team. But we pull out a win on on them. Okay. Okay, big games here against Pittsburgh, man. Home and home against Pittsburgh. Okay, there's one. If we can sweep this, this will be great. And we do. Yes, we took those two home and homes from the Pittsburgh Penguins who are near us in the standings. Okay, so we do want to do the scouting assignment. Uh, let's see here. Where were we at? Simliga, no. Le oh, Russia, rest of the world. Okay, we got to look into the WHL. OHL, I meant. Uh, Max Domi, no, 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 no. No one looking good there. QMJHL, Nathan McKinnon. I think we were... Who were we scouting? Were we scouting... Um, actually, a lot of guys in here. Russia, rest of the world. WHL, Curtis Lazar, and Shinkrook, and McKinnon, right. Yeah, McKinnon's done. Okay, so I think we'll try to do for some defensemen. Are there any high-potential defensemen out there right now? Uh, we did look at them already. OHL, QMJHL, United States Dell, Swiss. Uh, I see Sim Liga guys. They could be top teners. I might do that Sim Liga guy. Uh, see if there's any top ten goalies. Okay, this uh, Sajoff guy. Let's do him for six weeks. Uh, advance, yes. Okay, so we did go on a goodwill winning streak there. So we are stopped right here. Let me take a look at the standings. 
where we're at. Okay, so those wins against the Penguins definitely lifted us up now. We are in eighth. Uh, trailing, we are got some teams on our ass, most notably Ottawa and Pittsburgh. Florida's back there, too. Same with Montreal. Okay, so that we have the Islanders and Boston in these two games. So let's sim up here and oh geez, look at these te look at the teams we have to play, man. And we have a home and home against Boston. Okay, so I'm gonna sim up to here, see if we can pull out three wins. Go two and three, I'll be happy. But if we lose this Islander game, I'll be fine with that. But no, we win it. Okay, we need to get at least win one of these games against Boston because Boston's not a good team. We should be able to win some of these these two games. There's a 4-1 to win there and a one nothing shutout for Briz. So we are on a tear right now trying to make it into the playoffs, guys. Uh, let me go back to the trade deadline here. From the trade deadline, we get 1, 2, 3, 3 and 1, 3 and 2, 4 and 2, 5 and 2, 6 and 2, 7 and 2, 8 and 2, 9 and 2, 10 and 2 since the trade, dead, since the trade deadline. And uh, only two of those losses were in a row. I guess those two losses kind of woke up a fire under our ass and started. So, and uh, led us on a tear. I'm getting a little bit tongue tied here because I'm getting really excited now. So uh, let me take a look at the. Let's take a look at the. Oh, and we jumped up to fourth now. All right. So, but we got some big games coming up here between the uh, the Canadians and the Senators, who are kind of dropped off a little bit now. They uh, have dropped off a bit, but then we got games against like the Jets, Penguins. We're playing Ottawa again, the Rangers, uh, and that's it. How many games do we have left? Three. We only have six games left. Okay, so I think, and we're not playing any of those teams. Only teams we're playing in contention are really just the the uh, who have a uh, playoff uh, positions right now. So the rain are the Rangers and the Jets. So we have six games left. And you know what? I have time left, so I might simulate up to... We'll take it a couple games at a time. We'll go up to after the Winnipeg game. So we'll go up to the Sunday and see if where we are in the standings. I actually don't want to look at the standings. That ruins it. Do it transactions. So let's go over up to here and uh, see what happens here. So we're on a tear right now. But this would be a bad time for us to go on a uh, losing streak. And uh, as I say that, look what happens. Okay, we need to win a couple of these games. Do not go in. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, no. Pull out a win against Winnipeg. We need a win here. We need a win. There we go. 6-2. to two. Okay. So if we take a look at the standings. Uh, oh, Jesus Christ. This is... This is going to be really, really interesting, guys. Okay, so what I'm going to do here, I'm going to end it here. And I think I'm going to have to do a uh, in-game. Well, not in-game. I'm going to have to do some simulations. Uh, uh, I'm going to manually sim those games. Because right now, it's looking really tight. It's a four-way tie with, team, with Pittsburgh, Jersey, Washington, and the Jets all having 90 points. And our all in it for a playoff spot. Same with Ottawa. They're only two points out. Uh, Montreal's not that far behind either, but this is looking very interesting for these uh, for this playoff picture. Um, we are definitely going to need to win probably at least two of these games. Most notably, this Pittsburgh game, we're definitely going to need to win. And that Ranger game might screw us, but I think most definitely we need to win the game against the Pittsburgh Penguins and the Ottawa Senators if we are going to try to make this try to make it into the playoffs and have a good seed because I want to try to maybe we can get the uh Toronto's only in third because they have uh they're winning their division I don't even know who's in their division anyway but anyway uh, so I'm going to stop it right here and then we're going to simulate these three games individually see what happens and uh oh, this this is getting interesting guys we have a we have a playoff race out on our hands